Hey my friends, what's going on no quitters? How you guys doing today? How you feeling? What's going on with your life? What's going on with your land? So how you doing today? How you feeling? So I'm making this quick video here um, Sunday in the office. I'm just here just relaxing just looking at my data see what's going on with my life with my business Of course, and I decided hey, let me shoot out this video say welcome to everybody who's liking my page I'm cater if you don't know me. I don't go live too much on this page I'm trying to make videos a lot more on this page now if you follow on my, me on my profile You probably know me. So how you doing today? How you feeling in this video? I want to talk about four secrets to actually change your life these four things, when I learned them, they helped me change my life. So let me know if you're watching this live. Let me know where you guys are from. I want to get to know you guys on this page a little bit more. Leave a comment below. Let me know where you guys are watching from. You know, I'm a simple dude. It took my life from nothing to become something. And it's powerful. So I want to share these four secrets with you. Hopefully they can help you. Okay. Number one is don't be a spectator. Like what happened to a lot of people in their lives, they spend their whole life being a spectator. They looking, they waiting for somebody else to take the action or they blaming for somebody else for where they are right now in their lives. So therefore it stops them from moving forward. It stops them from taking the actions because what happened when you blame someone else, you give the power to them. So therefore you don't give yourself, when you give, put the blame somewhere else, you don't have enough power to change your life. So the first thing, you know, you're going to stop being a spectator. Like you cannot wait for someone else to do the job for you. If you want to change your life, it's up to you to get up and say, hey, okay, I need a change. I need something different. What am I going to do, right? I'm not going to change your life for you. You got to do it. You got to step up your game. Like everybody that changed their lives, they had to step up get their game and do what is required of them to actually change, to make the changes that are required. So you don't want to be a spectator because spectator, they don't get paid. You ever go to a game? You ever go to a basketball game? If you're a fan, I'm a big LeBron James fan. Well, I'm a LeBron James fan. You guys are on. I'm a big James fan. If you go to a game, who do you think gets paid? The people who are cheering the crowd? Or do you think LeBron James is getting millions or the people that's on the court? Yeah. More likely the people that's on the court, like, right? They're the people who gets paid. So if you're a spectator, you don't actually get paid. You actually have to pay to see the players get paid, right? The people who actually get paid, they're the players, the people who are making stuff happen. You know, so the opinion of the spectators don't even matter that much to them because they are there put in the work. So you don't want to be a spectator in your life. If you're looking to create success, you're trying to make something happen. You don't want to be a spectator. You want to be a player. You want to be in the game. You want to be moving the pounds. You want to be, you know, knowing what am I going to do? What are my plans? How am I going to succeed? What are my goals? What are my dreams and vision? How am I going to make this stuff happen? Live. I'm actually live on this page. If you haven't liked this page, go ahead and like it. If it's getting you some value, like this page. I'm going to keep creating massive content and help you. So don't be a spectator. Number two secret that I want to share with you is that know that you are not your past so even if you had failures in the past things did not work out maybe you tried bus a business opportunity you didn't have success maybe you know you didn't have success in college or you didn't have success in high school that's not the end of your life maybe you got fired from all your jobs everything that you tried didn't work out for you understand that the future if your future is equal to your past there's no point of living if your future is the same thing as your past there's no reason for you to leave because all you're gonna do is uh, repeating the same thing, repeating the same cycle, which is insanity. You know, insanity is to do the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. So if you're going to be thinking that, oh, I'm my past, you cannot change, there's no reason for you to leave, okay? You got to start thinking you, you can change your life. You know, the same person right now, go to your boss or wherever that you work, whoever creates something amazing, the same person that has this amazing thing, they usually used to be the same person that used to work at McDonald's or that used to have this $10 an hour job or that couldn't do the fun things in their lives. They usually that person and then they ended up changing their lives. They become more valuable. It's the same person. So I want you to realize that whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing right now, you can change and you can become better. So your past does not equal your future. You must understand that. You know, secret number three that changed my life and I want to share with you. These things helped me change my life, okay? 
is be willing to do what your friends aren't willing to do. Right now, if your circle of friends, all they want to do is just party, they don't have no vision, they have nothing in mind, and you, you feel like, man, I deserve better. I want to do better for my kids, my family, my mom deserves this. I got to do something amazing with my life. I can't just be working forever. I can't just be working for somebody else with no vision, no goal. What am I going to do to impact society? How am I going to impact the world? You feel like, yo, I can do better. I deserve better. It's inside of you. It's screaming. Like, hell no, I can't just be working. Someone's giving me order every single day. Hell no, I can't just not have the vacation that I want. Hell no, I can't just not have the things that I want in life. I can do a lot better. If it's screaming at you and all your friends are settling for less, you got to understand sometimes you got a who says that likely, you know, if you're hanging with five broke people, you're going to become the fifth one, you know, the sixth one. So you got to change your circle. Be willing to do what your friends aren't willing to do. You know, if you, if you want to work out, be healthy, change your body. You know, if your friends, all they want to do is eat junk food. Well, you got to change that circle because if you go out with them, they're going to want to eat junk food all the time. And somewhere, somehow, people that likes to get fit, like if they want to eat healthy, they're not going to be want to want to hang out with those people who just want to eat junk food. Or if you want to, you know, increase your business, you want to take your life to a whole next level. You don't want to hang around with people who just want to talk about, hey, man, I can't wait for my food stamp to come. Or I can't wait, you know, for um, yeah, I can't wait to just just go party or just get my paycheck and just blow it up for the weekend. You want to learn how to invest into yourself. You want to learn how to grow yourself to the next level. You start looking you know, for mentors, you start looking, reading books, changing your lives. See what the what the world has to offer for me. This can be it. This can be my life. I can't be just suffering every single day just to pay my freaking bills. Yeah, I can't be just suffering just to go on vacation or just to, to be home with my kids or to do whatever that I want. Is it bad of me just wanting a better life or just wanting a change for my life for myself? Is it bad of me, right? So when you start asking yourself those questions, you got to realize... I got to change. In other for things to change, I got to change. See, it all start with the mind because there's someone who says that you know, when you change your mind, the things that you're looking at also change. So if your mind is... And the fourth secret that I want to share with you, you got to find yourself new mentors. If your mentors have been friends, you know, family, people that you know, people that you live your whole life with, and you don't want the results they have, if you want the results they have, fine, that's cool, you know? Keep following what they have, what, what what they can offer you. But if you want better results than what your friends have, what your family have, you got to look for those mentors that has the results that you want, okay? You got to look for the mentors, the people that has the results that you want. That's what you want to follow, okay? If your friends and your family cannot give you what you want, they don't have what you want, why should you be taking advice from them, right? I had to get to a point where I needed to learn you know, who am I going to take my advice from? Am I going to take my advice from people who are broke, no future? Or am I going to take my advice from people who actually have the success that I'm trying to accomplish? Or the people who actually have the lifestyle that I want? The people who actually have what I want? And I realize, well, all those people, they don't have what I want. So therefore, I'm going to stop. I'm going to start reading books. Like, I'm going to start having new mentors. Like, this guy have this book called Be Obsessed or Be Average. And he's a multi-millionaire. Guess what? He shares secrets inside of this book. So I started reading these things because my friends wasn't talking about this stuff. My friends was talking about, oh man, how can I get on food stamp? Oh man, how can I do as little as possible and get the most out of my job? I wanted something different. I wanted something different. And I know if you're watching this video, you probably feel the same way. You probably feel like, man, I could do better. Yo, how am I gonna provide this 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 car for my kid? Like, how am I gonna pay off for the college? How am I gonna give them the dream lifestyle? How can I do that for them? You can. You have all the power. And if if you apply those four secrets that I share with you, you know, Austin says that I message you, but it takes twenty dollars a month, and twenty dollars. I'm confused. Okay. Austin, if you're talking about the opportunity I've been promoting on my page, guys, you cannot get something for nothing, okay? Like some people, here's the thing. This is a work mentality. If you're looking into getting into business for yourself, you must understand, getting into business, you got to switch your mentality. When I was working a job, I literally, literally, I was working at a shoe store. I would try my best to do as little as possible so I can get a paycheck, right? And, and I wanted my paycheck to be great. 
because I didn't love what I was doing. I didn't want that. You know, they couldn't give me the vacation that I want. They couldn't provide me the lifestyle that I want. But when I got into business for myself, I understand that I must invest not only in myself, in opportunity, in things that's gonna change my life, that can give me the opportunity to be home with my kids, travel whenever I want. I was all in. I understand it takes investment in other for me to further my career, to further myself. And a J-O-B wasn't gonna give me what I wanted. What I desire, I wasn't gonna get it from the job. Nobody was gonna give it to me. So I had to learn how to take it for myself. I started investing into books, started investing into programs, I started learning, started following mentors. I just showed you a book. I left college like five years ago. I don't read books from school. I can't take any of the school knowledge that I learned. I cannot make not even a dime. <laughs> not even a dime from that. You see this book that I just showed you? I don't know how much secret that I've already found that changed my life. So, what you must understand, if you're going to take your life to the next level, right? You're going to take yourself to the next level. You got to be willing, girl. I just gave you four key. Let me give you one fifth secret as a bonus. You got to be willing to invest into yourself. You are the best investment. You know, people are saving like $2,000 to buy a TV. Re in the TV, what you're gonna do, you're gonna sit home, you're gonna watch the news, which you have no, you have no impact, you cannot change what's, what's happening around you. If you can't even change your income, your life, you can't change your future, how can you change what's happening in the world? By sitting there, I spent $3,000 on a TV, that's killing you every single day. Those times, you could have been investing in your business, you could have been investing into traffic, you could have been investing into learning. How can I grow myself? You could have been investing into reading. What are the people who are successful? What the heck they are doing? I know they're not that much different from me. I'm an F student. I used to get F and D's and C's. I'm not a straight A student, you know? But I understood that when I got mentors that told me, hey dude, you got to learn how to invest into yourself, into your future, into your growth. You are the best investment that you got. If you buy a TV, you can break it, right? If you buy a car, the car can break down. But if you invest into your knowledge, into growing yourself, you're the best investment. You are not going anywhere, right? If I read books and I change my mind, do you think that when I got secrets and knowledge that can help me change my future, my life, change the, the lifestyle of my kids, where I'm going for my future, you think that's a depreciating asset? You are your best investment. And if you cannot bet on yourself, can you bet on a TV? Can you bet on a program? You are your best investment. If you are not willing to invest into yourself to grow yourself, you're a sucker because you're not willing to invest in you. And I had to learn that. You know, I was so excited to buy the 50 inch, you know, the 50 inch screen TV. I was so excited to buy a new car, but I was afraid to invest into knowledge, invest into myself. How can I grow myself? What are those people who are successful? What the heck do they know that I don't know? And when I started doing that, investing into myself, finding mentors, taking myself to a whole next level, my life changed. So I just share with you five secrets. If you do find value in this video, Okay, I want you to comment below. If you make it to the end of this video, I want you to comment below. I'm ready to take my night, my life to the next level. Just leave a comment below. Say I'm ready. It's a commitment you're making to yourself. You know, I've already done that commitment to myself, and I'm pushing. I'm pushing hard to get myself to 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 my level. And I want you to make the same commitment to yourself. Just comment below. Say I'm ready to take my life to the next level. And then do everything that I say. Do those tips that I share with you. Keep pushing until you see these things become a reality. I promise you there's nothing that you can't accomplish. You know, on this page, I'll be sharing more motivation. I'll be sharing lifestyle with you. I'll be sharing the stuff that I'm doing with my family. Letting you know I'm a real person. I'm a real dude. I'm a regular dude, a simple dude. But I've had a few people who just watching videos like this and took action. They said, these things changed my life drastically. I went from, you know, just a, a, a regular person working a $10 job, job an hour and changed my life completely. And you can do the same thing. I promise you, if you follow the strategy that I'll be sharing on this page, and some of you already follow me on my profile, you know, I uh, on YouTube, you know, some of my work and some of my stuff. But this year I said, I, let's take Facebook to a whole next level because I want to build this fan page on Facebook. I want to inspire you to take your life to a whole next level, to change your life to a whole next level. So if you make it to the end of this video, I want you to like it, you know, share it, and I want you to comment. 
I'm going to take my life to a whole next level this year. Anyway, guys, that was Cater. Appreciate you. I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. All right? So peace, love, you know, make your mark. Do what you got to do. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.